Six millions of people in Europe also continue to experience an extreme heat wave, sparking wildfires there. It's caused thousands of deaths. That's right. Chief Meteorologist Ted Florando is standing by in the Weather Center with more as the temperatures soar to as much as 30 degrees above normal, right? Yeah, guys, have big problems there, of course, in Europe. Wildfires in Europe are happening in multiple countries across thousands of miles. Ten rare wildfires burning across London, and the London Fire Brigade is seeing its busiest day since World War II. The same day, the country shattered the record for its hottest day in known history. That's 104 degrees. They've never had that temperature, ever. This is it, right? This is uh, the climate change that we've been promised by scientists. Can we still call the United Kingdom a cold country? Absolutely not. This level of extreme weather is uh, life-threatening, and we really want to make sure that people are not under any illusion that this is serious and this is here to stay for the foreseeable future. Western Europe is still battling major blazes that ignited last week. In Greece, police ran to doors shouting at residents to flee just north of Athens. French firefighters are in their ninth straight day battling blazes twice the size of Paris. Wow. The problems they're dealing with in Europe, and this is the graphic I wanted to put together for you. Remember the homes there. If you've ever been out there in Europe, the homes are not built for heat. They're built to trap in the cold because it's mainly cold out there. Obviously, the people there are also not used to the heat. Here we are in the desert. We've been acclimated to it. They have not, and that heat wave still continues out there. Across the U.S., look at these numbers here. 90s all the way in Portland. 109 here. 100 degree temperatures in Dallas, 90s across the Central Plain states, and this extends all the way to the eastern seaboard. Boston, 83, 95 in New York. They're sweltering in D.C. Out here they have the humidity, out here they have the humidity, and on top of that, that oppressive heat. Currently, 109 degrees back here at home. Our humidity is not quite as high, but this still can be very dangerous, especially if you work outdoors. Temperatures, of course, are above normal for this time of the year. Excessive heat warnings start tomorrow. That does include Las Vegas. That's at 11 a.m. all the way until Friday at night, until 8 p.m. And even the mountains, these are heat advisories. So if you plan to go to the mountains to cool off, it's still going to be in the 90s in some areas up there. We'll have more on your forecast coming up.